we can discuss on sentiment analysis basically what sentiment analysis is as uh, uh, in the introduction arbaz has mentioned so public sentiment so what public thinks about a particular stock so how about understanding that and then creating a trading strategy so with this idea as a foundation so we can create strategy so for that so this is a general flow so uh, it's just a most basic flow so you can uh, collect tweets or news so how can you get public data so there are three ways uh, either you can collect social media data like tweets so you tend to see if you go to twitter and type any ticker you will see like thousands and thousands of tweets on it which will be updated every minute either you can collect the data and understand the sentiment using some processes which we will discuss or you can also collect news so generally we are used to see news like in bloomberg or cnn online and try to understand uh, what public or analysts think about a stock and try to come up with some sentiment intuitively but we can also do it quantitatively by collecting the data uh, collecting the news data so our third way is to understand options market so first let's discuss about these two and then we'll go to how to understand sentiment using options market and after collecting this data you generate a sentiment score uh, once you generate sentiment score so first we will just focus on these two steps so you can uh, refer to a course named trading strategies with news and tweets so this course exactly caters to the first two steps where we have uh, i'll just take a give you a high level introduction to this so in this course as you can see uh, it uses twitter api so you can also use similar thing for other social media also but then since there are lots of data available in twitter and which is quite dynamically updated every minute on stocks so we have used twitter api so in this section it's clearly explained how to generate a api object for a twitter account and get the tweets into your python account i mean python id so once you got that into your python id we use a python library called vader so vader so this is a sentiment analysis library where it tries to score sentiment for particular words so for example in this particular section section 10 so we have in unit 2 we have a python notebook presented in the course so let's just go through this so the notebook name is vader score calculations so this is given as a practice for you and it is clearly explained how this is work Uh, it's how this works and what is the intricacies behind it uh, in the previous units but uh, i'll just show you uh, with a basic example for example here we collected a tweet we were trying to do this for apple and for that we have collected a tweet uh, apple is my best investment so far so now our objective is to score this particular tweet for that we need to import a method called sentiment intensity analyzer from vader library and we define an analyzer object so analyzer is equal to sentiment intensity analyzer so using this analyzer object there are several methods in it so what we use is we use something called polarity scores so if we pass on this tweet into this polarity scores object so it's going to give you uh, four scores so first it will give you score for negative polarity It means how much negativity is there in this tweet so if you read it apple is my best investment so far so there is no negativity that's exactly what this uh, particular piece of code gave you there is no negativity and again neutral uh, then second score is neutral so what if you think about how neutral the particular tweet is if you think word by word apple doesn't score doesn't have any sentiment the word apple doesn't have any sentiment is doesn't have any sentiment my doesn't have any sentiment so these three words are neutral similarly best is a positive sentiment word and investment so far these are all neutral sentiment scores so according to that it generated a score of 0.588 similarly try to give a score of positive score for this particular tweet which was 0.412 so using all these three it gave a compound score of 0.6369 so it, so basically it goes from minus 1 to plus 1 so it is more than 0.5 so it is positive what this piece of code tells you is that tweet we passed in is positive at an order of 0.63 and you can explore this notebook so there are several ways uh, in which this uh, particular polarity score polarity score and analyze object will tell you so it can also understand intensity because instead of 
small letters best if the tweet is capital letter best that means they are stressing that uh, this is the best stock so that's why you can see there is an increase in compound score and there are many ways so you can just explore this notebook and uh, play with it to understand how best the particular vader or uh, vader library is scoring the sentiment of particular tweet so in this course we have used this we have collected thousands and thousands of tweets on apple and generated sentiment scores and generated daily sentiment scores basically so we took an average and generated daily sentiment scores and we have also created a trading strategy so what we did was uh, if uh, the particular score sentiment score of today is greater than uh, 15 day average sentiment score we bought the stock and if the sentiment score calculated by this is less than sentiment score of 15 day average, then we shorted the stock and the results were great. So let me go to that section as well and show you. So this is where we have, yeah, we have back tested that particular strategy. Yes. So here, as you can see, we have imported that particular analysis. So for every day, we have collected the uh, total tweets and the sentiment score and at the end we have generated we have created the strategy as i said so buying when the current sentiment score is greater than the average sentiment score and selling when the sentiment score is less than the negative sentiment score of last 15 days so and this blue line shows the strategy performance so apparently it like uh, it is working better than the market 